first, let's get to Mountain Newsroom reporter Matt Kroschel. And Matt, a perfect weekend to enjoy the snow, if you could get up there. <laughs> You know, Kathy, it's so interesting because here in Kremlin, we got about eight inches of snow, so not really that big of a storm for us, but you just go up the road a couple hundred feet in elevation gain, you get up to the top of Rabbit Ears Pass, and oh my gosh, what a different story it is up there. Deep. Fun. The adrenaline pumping action. Gotta love it. Out here at the top of Rabbit Ears Pass. I love it. The adrenaline rush. Just a flat out, just a general rush. Yesterday was like total white out, blizzard conditions. You can barely get around. And then today everything opened up and it's just money. The parking lot's packed full of snowmobilers who braved this storm to get out and ride. If you don't have a big sled and a turbo, you're not really getting off the trail too much out here. I'll tell you that much. 43 inches of snow since Thursday morning here. We definitely planned this one out just right. If the high speed wasn't your thing. Turbo deep snow, as they like to call it. There's always a trail a little less traveled. It's quieter, too. A big storm leaving behind mounds of snow to play in. <laughs> yeah, I got stuck twice. Stuck in the snow. Listen, it's pretty cool up at the top of Rabbit Ears Pass. If you haven't been up there for any recreation, in the wintertime, they keep the snowmobiles and everybody else on uh, one side of the pass, and then they allow everyone on cross country skis and uh, snowshoes on the other side. So, pretty interesting to see everybody up there working together to enjoy this winter weather. And wow, what a bunch of snow we had up there already. We are live in Grand County. Matt Croshall covering Colorado first. It is something else. Thank you, Matt.